Hey guys, we're back with another alkaline cooking video. Today we're going to make balsamic vinaigrette. First you're going to need two tablespoons of olive oil. To that you're going to add three tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of finely chopped shallots. If you cannot find fresh shallots, you can get dried shallots online. I will find a link to where they are sold online and make sure to post that below. One pinch of red pepper flakes, or you can use cayenne. One tablespoon of agave. You can add more or less agave, do that to your liking. One half teaspoon of sea salt. Lastly, we're going to use the special ingredient that you need to use in this. There is no substitute for it. Tamarind concentrate. You want to make sure it's the concentrate and not the paste. Very important. I will leave a link below on where to find it. I buy it at my local international market, the Patel Brothers. So for this, you're going to add one tablespoon of tamarind concentrate. Don't add any more than that. If you do decide you want to even tangier and you want to play around and add more, I suggest you add small amounts at a time. Now we're going to give it a shake. Here we go. Give it a shake. There. Alkaline electric balsamic vinaigrette. It's that simple, guys. Now, don't add any more olive oil to it. If you add more olive oil, it'll start to become bitter. If you do not buy olive oil, you don't use it, you don't have it, yes, of course, you can use a different oil if you want, okay? You can use grapeseed oil, avocado oil, whatever oil you want. Um, obviously, olive oil is the best one to use, but for this type of recipe. And also, if you'd like to make balsamic vinegar out of this recipe, all you need to do is leave out the shallots, the olive oil, and the red pepper flakes. And then you have balsamic vinegar. Alright guys, there you have it. Alkaline electric balsamic vinaigrette. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of the recipe. Thanks guys. Bye.